Hi Techie guys, I'm Nandkishore Swami and today we would be learning about Pega PRPC Platform 7. As a Pega Robotic Automation developer, what essential knowledge we should gain? So we'll discuss about that. Since uh, Pega has acquired the open span, so Pega has changed the certain ways uh, we used to work with the open span. Now Pega wants us to all the user interface or user interaction should be done through the Pega platform instead of having that uh, agile uh, desktop and the other user form and the other things so it, i mean all those those functionalities are still available but now with the um, implementation of uh, or upgradation of the pega platform or more integration of pega platform with pega robotic they are uh, they are just simply wanted us to work more with uh, pega platform or pega prpc platform so let's uh, have some understanding around uh, what is uh, Pega platform. So Pega uh, platform is basically a BPM tool. It's a business process management tool that helps uh, in such a way that we can manage our case or like inventory kind of stuff wherein one by one case comes in the, and somebody's process that and enhance the capabilities of OpenSpan by adding uh, more interaction between the Pega platform and the Pega Robotics and uh, implementation of uh, Robot Manager and the Packet Server basically. Uh, so, 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 so as a Pega Robotic developer, now we have to understand how the Pega platform works and how we can integrate the Pega platform with Pega Robotic and how we can utilize the Pega platform uh, as a robot manager and the Pega server manager and the other things. So let's get started and the first um, first thing that we need to do is we have to uh, Pega platform installed on our local system. So simply go to the Google and just type PDN uh, Pega PDN dot Pega dot com and just log into the community dot Pega dot com and just log in as a normal user. I'm not going to guide you how to create a user ID. It's a pretty simple and straightforward. And once you are in logged into the community dot Pega dot com, simply go to the support. And inside the support, you will find the sources. And under the sources, you can simply find a download Pega software. Just click on the download Pega software. It will take you to the next page, which is a download page. There we go. And you will find an option there, get personal edition and click on the download personal edition. So once you click on that, it is uh, around uh, 4.7 GB uh, downloaded file. Uh, once you have downloaded, just open your download folder. Go to your downloads. You will see this is a zip file. After downloading, just right click on the zip file and just extract all. I have already downloaded that's why it's going to take a little bit time to extract all the files since it is a kind of 4.7 GB zip file so if you unzip that file it takes a little bit time so after uh, unzipping the file you can simply open the folder and locate a file called install.bat just simply double click on that install.bat it will start the installation for uh, Pega platform and there you can see Pega platform installation and upgrade uh, assistant this will launch other installation windows please do not close so just wait for the Pega platform to install uh, completely
simply once this window launches click on next click on next and you can read this uh, license agreement and click on accept again click on next just uh, keep everything uh, by default and it gonna install on the C drive just click on the next Tomcat port is 8080 and the database port is 5432 ports are available just check the port availability so it will show the ports are available then click on the next click on start so it will begin the installation process just wait until the process uh, get completed and the peg up person uh, uh, platform personal edition got installed So at this point of time, uh, we have the latest version which is available is 7.4. It's a uh, done installation. It will just display this uh, message box saying rule base load complete. It means your installation is uh, completed and the total time it took around like 30 minutes, uh, four seconds. So simply go ahead and just click on OK and you can click on exit now the installation is done once installation is done you, if you go back to your uh, desktop you will see there are three icons so one it says the play then the another one it has a, like a stop kind of uh, a button and the third one is back a platform so what it does mean you need to first play this uh, uh, click on this play button so it will start the Tomcat server which is uh, the application server for Paga Platform Personal Edition and once you are done using or working on the Paga Platform you need to double click on this stop button so it will stop the server uh, so by now you have learned how to download the Paga Platform And at the time of uh, creating this video, the latest version we have available for Faga platform is 7.4. Uh, and once uh, downloading the file, you will see there is a zip file and the size of that zip file is around uh, 4.7 GB. So after downloading, you need to right click and extract. So it will unzip that file. After unzipping, you need to just open that unzipped file folder and just simply double click on the install.bat. So it's a bat file that will help us to automatically install everything. And uh, it, once you double click, it will show the Tomcat uh, and the database server port numbers. So leave the default one and just click on the next, next, next and install. So once it is installed, it will display these three buttons on the desktop. So that's it uh, in this tutorial. So we learn about how to install the Paga platform 7.4. In the next tutorial, we'll um, uh, start building an application using the Paga platform. And in the uh, subsequent tutorial, we'll learn how to connect our uh, Paga robot to the Paga platform. Uh, that's it in the, today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.